Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go back to a video that I first posted when I first started the channel. You might be asking yourself, or me, why are we gonna do that? And uh, the reason we're gonna do that, pfft, bugs, is because I found myself going down memory lane the other day and I was watching this video and I realized two things. Number one, my editing has vastly improved since I did that video. And number two, for one reason or another, the video got posted at a maximum resolution of 720p. So I made the very George Lucas-esque decision to uh, go back to the original video, correct the resolution, re-edit it, and repost it and reshare it with you guys. And this video is the F1 experience, which is under the Rusty Wallace driving experience also known as the Rusty Wallace racing experience. It's under that umbrella. It was a really fun experience and I just kind of felt like uh, it was worth revisiting. So yeah, should be fun. Let me give you the backstory really quick. First of all, this experience was supposed to be a Shelby Cobra driving experience, but uh, at some point there was some sort of sourcing issue and all of a sudden the Shelby Cobra wasn't available. And then so they asked us if we wanted to do a formula experience instead. And I was like, hell yes, whatever it is, I don't care. I just want to get out on the track and race something. They also sweetened the deal by giving us extra laps an additional discount, and then a couple other things, but I don't remember what they were. In either case, it was a pretty sweet deal. We got a big group of family together, we got a big group of friends together, we all headed down, and we had an absolute blast. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the remastered version of the Formula Experience. So we just checked in a few minutes ago. Our class starts at one o'clock and then we get trained or, you know, familiarized with the vehicles and then we go. Kind of like a black. So we are at New Hampshire Motor Speedway in Loudoun, New Hampshire. And for those who don't know, this is a legit NASCAR track. Here's that crazy loud Miata we saw a few minutes ago. Time to go to class. Yeah, right now. So here we are in class, and this is a map of the track that we're going to be racing today. On the outside, we of course have the traditional oval-shaped NASCAR track, but then on the inside we have the road track, which is the track that we're going to be racing on. There's a chicane here and a chicane here, which are basically spots that we have to slow down at. Then we have a tower here and a tower here, and people are going to be watching us from the towers, and there's actually a, a walkie-talkie earbud in our helmet that they can talk to us through, and they're going to help us navigate the track, let us know when we go faster, let us know when we have to go slower, let us know if we can pass someone else. Else, let us know if someone's about to pass us. Pretty cool, it's like a fun track. I'm excited to get out there. A little small. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. Woo! <sighs> that was awesome. I hope that guy had a vehicle damage policy. I know. If he hit it. As soon as I saw it, that's what I thought. Okay, he didn't hit. Good, good, good. He's okay. He just spun out. Yeah. Man, that was fun. And I didn't stall. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. The uh, remastered version of the Formula Experience from the Rusty Wallace Driving Experience, also known as the Rusty Wallace Racing Experience. It's referred to as both online, so I'm a little confused as to what's actually correct. It was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. Those race cars, although they're not up to spec of true Formula cars, are still very much serious race cars. They weigh about 1,000 pounds, they have 140 horsepower, and they can go up to 60 miles an hour in first gear. They go fast, they pull hard, and you have to really work to keep those things on the track. And as you saw, someone did spin out and almost hit the wall. It was pretty crazy, but it was a lot of fun. Glad we did it and uh, we want to do it again and we'd recommend it to anyone else who hears about these things as well. So thank you guys for checking it out with me and indulging me down this weird roundabout trip down memory lane. Plus, I'm still working very hard on the Viper differential and I'm currently waiting for parts and so I kind of thought this would be a good chance to uh, do something like this and conveniently enough I watched the formula video a couple days ago and that's when I realized the freaking resolution was stuck at 720p and also realized that my editing has evolved quite a bit these past few years so it seemed to kind of work out. Once I get my Viper parts in we'll get back to the Viper stuff but also I do have a couple other projects I'm going to start digging into more seriously and I'm going to also have us revisit some FZ projects that uh, I have backed up as well. There's just stuff happening everywhere. I'm doing my best to keep up with it all, but as I'm sure you guys can relate, life gets pretty busy and crazy, and um, it's hard to keep up uh, with all the things going on sometimes. Life moves pretty fast. With that said, I think I'm going to get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>